So I just picked up uh, over the Black Friday this LG C9 TV and I'm really digging it. It's a great TV. I picked it up basically because I wanted a good TV for playing video games and I'd never really purchased a really nice TV and so everyone's talking about this on YouTube. I've done a ton of research and this is the one I went with. So anyhow, I have three little tips or tricks or whatever you want to call it that I kind of have just been exploring and I uh, haven't heard really anybody talk about so I thought I would show them to you. So the first one is if you look at the remote here, if you push this button right here Hopefully you can see it right there. It said, underneath it says uh, AD slash SAP. And if you push it, over here on the right-hand corner, you can come down to multi-view. And if you click that, you now uh, have... What? One of the tall plants well, in front of Pesto is moving by itself. You, have, you can have picture-in-picture, picture, basically. Um, if we go ahead and fire up this other one, there it is. Whoop. Let's go back to multi view here. And so now you could watch a football game or whatever on one side and play a game on the other. If you highlight that side, then it'll uh, play the volume of the side that you've highlighted. So that's kind of cool. You can also, if you go up here, let me bring the thing up right there and you click on this. All right. You can then choose what port it is that you want to be active on this other side. So what the one side is going to show live TV. So obviously I have an antenna connected to my house to pick up local um, over-the-air stations. So anyhow, it took me a minute to figure out how to choose which input I would like to show up on this side. But that's how you do it. You just click over here. So if I wanted to go with the Xbox or something else, I would just click this other deal. So that's the first tip. Then you just click here to get back to it, and we'll stop. All right, the second tip I have is <clears throat> if you're watching TV now, this would mainly be if you're watching over-the-air TV. So let's go ahead and pull this up and go over to the TV. And... You know, with Amazon, if you're ever watching a movie, they have a little deal when you're watching the movie, you can push up on the remote or whatever, and it'll pause the movie and show you the the actors, and then you can get a little information about them. Well, there's kind of a similar thing on this. If you go ahead and push those three buttons again, the ADSAP, and you come down and just click Magic Link, it brings up this little menu at the bottom. And you can kind of see there's some, uh, you know, it'll give you ch channels to, you know, other related videos or channels. But if you go over to cast, you can come down and let's click on Kristen here and it'll pull up a little bit of information. But then if you come over to the web, I've highlighted it there, click web, it'll pull up a little small browser. It's not... Yeah, it's a little bit clunky-ish, but it works well, you know, well enough. And then you can control it. I'm just controlling it with my, with the remote here. And then if I wanted to, you know, let's say, click on the Wikipedia link, it'll bring it up here, you know, I can scroll using this. I'm scrolling with the scroll wheel here, or you could just, you know. But I think that was kind of neat that you can do that. And then when you want to exit out of it, you can just click it here to exit it out. I'm sure if I click this, it's just going to open the web browser and give me a bigger page to explore, but I'm not going to do that. So that's tip number two. Now, this other tip is really pretty awesome. 
if you'll notice on the remote, <clears throat> I'm sorry about the lighting in here. It's nighttime and my I don't have the best lighting in the living room here, but on the remote, you've got your, you know, quick Netflix button or your Amazon Prime button. And um, if you want, you can actually set your numbers here to be hotkeys. The way you do that is, so right here under the number zero is quick access. If you hold that button on the left, that will pop up. Now I went ahead and I set just to show you. So if you wanted to set a, um, I'm going to go ahead and delete the number one there. So we'll delete it from the quick access. So let's say I want to set YouTube up as my quick access for the number one. I'll go ahead and it's highlighted number one. And then I click on my, my uh, select button here. And then I can come down. You can see, you can pick whichever, you know, if you wanted it to be an input. If you have an antenna and live TV, if I click that, it will actually let me pick a channel if you just have a channel, but you know, I don't do that. So let's go down to YouTube. You just select YouTube and there you go. Let's exit out of it. Now, if you want to just, you know, get to YouTube quickly and not use the whole menu, you know, thing and bring it up, you just hold the number one and it launches YouTube. So that's pretty cool. If I wanted, I could hold number two. I have it set for YouTube TV, so we'll just hold the number two. And there we go. So it's kind of neat. Obviously, you kind of got to memorize it, I guess. But, I mean, really, I just use Netflix and, you know, Prime Video, YouTube TV, YouTube, and my Plex. So, um... But anyhow, those are my three little extra tips or tricks or whatever. And uh, just thought I'd show those for any of you if you do have the LG C9 TV and you didn't know that. There you go. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Thanks for giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down or liking and subscribing. And uh, we'll just talk with you all later.